Good morning, guys. Welcome to the Carnivore Channel. My name is Matthew. This is... Well, who am I? Darlene! Hey, y'all, hey! There she is. All right, this morning, Darlene is going to show me how she made the crab dip that she made the other night. Well, where's the crab dip? It was a... It was a crab dish. It was... Oh, my gosh! It was... It seemed like it had butter all over it, and she tells me she, there was no butter added. Um, it has cheese. It is magnificent. She's agreed to make this for breakfast. Was gonna make just some. I was thinking about just taking the crab meat and dunking it into some cleaned up butter. What's not, Darlene? Right. So the other day, let me show you the type of crab we're gonna be using here. This is Crab Classics. Yes. This is what is it? Um, it's actually wild Alaska pollock with real crab meat. How did you like this? The other night you loved it, didn't you? Yeah. Yeah. I would actually rate this dish a 10 out of 10. I'm telling you. So Darlene, tell us how to make it. Let's jump into this. Okay, well, what do I we're do? gonna jump into you showing them the cheese that oh, I'm gonna shred. All right, so tell them about the cheese, darling. Well, that's my favorite, I guess. This is your favorite because it doesn't add any type of... Dots. Right, there you go. All right, and it is absolutely wonderful. It only costs like 50 cents more than the other kind. You can get this at Kroger's, you can get it at Walmart. If you get it at Walmart, it's gonna cost you a heck of a lot less. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so. Definitely. All right. So what's first, darling? Well, you gotta take your crab meat, and okay. put it in the dish, and break it up. Break the pieces apart. Ooh, let me just show you what this crab meat looks like. Right here. Mmm. Yes. And I'll be grating the cheese while you're doing that. Make sure all the pieces are broken apart. Okay. You want that sour cream? When you say broken apart, apart, just kind of broken yeah, apart. Yeah, no, no, just broken. The pieces are pulled apart. Oh. So, no, okay. that's fine. Like, okay. Oh, you're yes. just saying, like, oh, okay. so that, yeah, I just like cracking right. holes. So, just... Darlene is showing, guys, y'all can't see what's really going on here, so let me go ahead and yeah, tell this just a little bit. Oh, there you go. All right, so, right here, just separating the pieces yeah. out, not actually tearing them apart. No, you don't tear them apart. Darlene is grating her because sharp cheddar cheese over there is as white as can be. I wonder why they do dye the sharp cheddar cheese. Oh. Now it's become like traditional. It's kind of like they, how they... Uh, I guess they seem to make everybody think cheese is supposed to be yellow. Well, it's kind of like how they do ham. You know how the ham is pink, but it's really not the color pink? Is No. That's it. Uh, I'll show you a video on it. No, actually, what, what they add to ham, I mean, if you don't uh, buy it organic or natural, mm. is very unhealthy. Alright, so I think it's good. Alright, so I'm going to take the sour cream. All right. We are taking this sour cream, folks. And then scoop that out into the... Yeah. Well, you are busy on that cheese. All right. So I'm going to be first stirring it up here. Don't stir it up. All right. <laughs> okay. She said don't stir it up. All right. And then what, Dad? Dip it out. Oh, all of it? No, just dip it till you see cover it. Okay. So we took an, a half of a Kraft Classics, guys. This is a... What size is this? This is two and a half pounds. Whoo, that is not a bad price. It was uh, $9.99 for all that. Really, that's not bad at all. Okay, and we're gonna take the sour cream. We're gonna be putting it over the top, like this. Just dip it out. Okay, yeah. just have fun with it. Gotcha. It may be all of it, it may be all of it, so it just depends. Let me go ahead and zoom in here so they can see exactly what's going on. Oh, there we go. Ooh, there we go. Zoom right in there. This camera right here is just crazy. Look at that, darling. Look how it zoomed in nicely. Yeah, that is sweet. Okay. So, wow, it just that looks so good, just like that. I could eat. I could pick that up, darling, and I could eat that cold. Oh, this sour cream. Yes, not the stir, but it's. You know, I need to buy more sour cream today. For, finally, I finally ran right out. Ah, or this artificial crab meat. Fish! Whatever you want to call it. But man, it's just like crab meat. real fish. You know what? You know, you know what we could do? Uh, we, we could. And I'm saying it to the audience too. I gotta tell y'all. And thank y'all for showing up. If you are carnivore, think about going carnivore or if you know somebody that would benefit from the carnivore diet. Now, how do you know somebody would benefit from the carnivore diet? They're gonna get deeper sleep, blood pressure, 
Tool, I'm telling you, mine has gone down. Usually, it's, usually it hovers around 93 or 60, right in there. If you got high blood pressure, this, in my opinion, is 100% the diet for it. So many people have done a huge turnaround. And talk about the mental clarity, it's been phenomenal. Right, What's so this, Darlene? Now shaking the obey. Shake the obey. So, we got our obey going on here. Absolutely gorgeous. How much of this Old Bay stuff put on there, darling? Um, I can shake. You just want to shake it? That's it. Not in bed. Okay. So you didn't measure. So, are you talking about like a plate? Ooh, that looks good now. Granny says he's coming to oh, visit. Son. Oh, man. I cannot believe this. This is crazy. Oh, I love the carnivore diet. Right, is there anything good. better? Right. There's I not. Think. This is it. I think Granny oh, says you're cooking. This looks phenomenal. Okay, so now do some paprika. Whoo, go and do that paprika. This is, you got our cayenne. That's what I meant. Oh, we're Sorry. doing cayenne? Oh, yeah, okay. not paprika. Okay, so that how much paprika, that. I mean, how much cayenne do you, um, you just do a little sprinkle? Uh, yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, you better got us all yeah, nice yeah, yeah, yeah. That would have been horrible. Okay. It would have been nice. All right, so. Tasty. All right, how much? <laughs> How much cayenne? Just shake it a little bit and like sprinkle that for you. Not, don't cover it as much yeah. as that. Oh, that's pretty. Yeah. Is that good? That's good. Oh, okay. Ooh, that is looking pretty, folks. I had no idea. Okay. Black pepper. Oh, by the way, cayenne. Oh, what am I doing? Cayenne. <laughs> okay. And now we got pepper. Now, if you just want to light. So now we got pepper. This pepper is just. Regular pepper, guys. Got this salt shaker at Dollar Tree. I don't know. I just like the. I just like the old timey. Mean. Okay, is that enough? Good enough? Yes. Okay. All right, cool. Uh, garlic. Excuse me. Gotta get some garlic. All right, we're gonna be using this garlic powder. Can I see your Okay, yeah, I got this one out here. Dollar Tree. Left side. Yeah. Uh, how much, uh, just a straight one. That's good. Okay, that just seems up. very, that's not too complicated, but that is, this, the, 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 that it tastes it's so good. Small spoon of thyme, don't you get it? Really? Oven's ready. Wow, this was, this is a 10 out of 10. It's amazing how, uh, Oh, there wasn't a lot to So darling, you got the you got the oven. You, did you put on 450 last time as well? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you wanna do it? So you did it at 450 and how long do you bake it for? I mean, since Just till the cheese melts. I was about to say. I mean, all the ingredients are already cooked. Wow, what a quick dish. I personally bake, I know you did a 10 out of 10. That's gonna have minimal, well, it's minimal prep. And it's minimal uh, so quick when you're bake time. That's, we're talking about, I don't know how long this video's been so far, but that's, that's, pretty, that's fun to make too. Very low stress. Also, with this one right here, with a half a pack, you're getting about 36 grams. It's about 40 grams of protein, actually. Okay. Because I think in the whole bag, they were like 78 grams. So, and you know, you're, you're looking at 40 grams of protein. You are looking at about $5 for that. Just to kind of give you a heads up. Um, I know you probably already figured that out. We're, we're talking about minimal cost with maximum flavor. It's just absolutely incredible. You know what, I'm going to go ahead and try to get a, uh, maybe a closer up on that, right where you've got it. Wow. Actually, with this camera, we can go way close. Ooh, look at that. Look, look up there, darling. Go ahead and sprinkle it. You can see the sprinkles coming out. That looks, oh my goodness. No, oh, doesn't even do a little too much. <laughs> Wow, that, ooh, that looks good. 
Now this is a breakfast for a king. Yesterday we were in Cumberland Caverns, we were in the Hall of the King, and if you ask me, this would be the breakfast for the king. Oh my word. Here All right, you want to zoom out and let's put it in the oven? Yeah, let me go ahead and zoom and on out. I see the family here that's all coming to join for the crab stuff. They, they want some, but don't put it. Okay. All right, ready? Move already. Gotta open up the oven. All right. All right, now we're just going to patiently wait and have our cup of coffee. All right. Whoop. Speaking of coffee, it, well, I tell you what, if you haven't been here before, being on the carnivore diet, one thing, uh, one thing, one thing that we enjoy every morning, don't we, darling? We usually make eight cups of coffee in the morning. Puts me in the right spot. But, is it the coffee? Mmm, no. Let me share with you something. You haven't seen it before. One thing that I find that makes me feel you, it puts my my brain in a good spot. Uh, it's going to be this heavy whipping cream. Now, obviously not this exact heavy whipping cream, but this is the exact one I'm using right now. You, now you would like this too, don't you? I've never used it before. Before I went on the carnivore diet, I oh. never had heavy whipping cream. I, I went black today. Did you go black? Okay. Yeah. All right. But yeah, the heavy whipping cream is a game changer to me. It just is. Um, you know, Party, also a game changer while we're waiting. <laughs> <laughs> is the butter. Like when I don't feel like working out, Check it out. I will eat, I'll sleep. put a, I hate <laughs> put butter in my mouth and then I, I'll get down on the ground, I'll do my push-ups and oh, he's your seat. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, oh I, like, my I didn't put pressure hey, on. He, uh, yeah, but you know, I mean, Thanks. anymore, because I've been working out so much for every day and I try to do it two or three times a day at least. You know, eventually you might not need that butter like I did at first. I still go to the butter school. <laughs> 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 oh, that's a mm. Oh, I, I'm gonna have to sneeze again. What in the world? Pepper, <laughs> Pepper got up the nose. Pepper got up the nose. Oh. Speaking of sneezing though, I used to have horrible allergies. What I've noticed is that most people on the carnivore diet, actually on a plant-based diet too, once you get rid of those 10,000 chemicals and the processed foods that everybody eats, allergies are a thing of the past. Obviously sneezing is not something of the past. I like the panda mustard. Looks good. And then my boyfriend back in the day. <laughs> with his mom. Right. With Florida with That's Alex. right. That's yeah. right. That is the shirt that I got, Pam. Darlene. <laughs> About how many, how many years ago was that? That I got you that shirt. Darlene? How many years ago was that? 2019. Hey, boy. Hey, boy. As Darlene's having way too much fun with the dogs, just kidding. <laughs> Alright, so on a serious note, guys. This was 40 grams of protein, but hey, as Darlene knows, this will not be enough protein, obviously. But if you know my program, you know I'm going to be getting 160 to 300 grams of protein on, on a serious note. Um, this dish is just pure ecstasy. Oh my gosh, absolutely love it. Matter of fact, matter of fact, if you did a whole pack of the crab meat, does that not sound like heaven? To eat a whole thing of the artificial crab? Okay, so I can sit down and eat a whole bag of that crab, and that would right there would be right at 80 grams of protein. 80 grams. Actually, I could eat two packs. That'd be fun. But anyway, if you ate two of them, and then you ate, you know, about another 60 grams of protein, which isn't that difficult to do, uh, you could actually just do three of the burgers, three of the frozen burgers. That, 
I prepared the other day. Uh, well, they're usually they're actually 18 grams of protein, but still you're getting around 160 grams. You're right in there. You're actually between 120, 140, something like that. Mm -hmm. So yeah, you did your, you could do five burgers. So still, even if you're at the $10 for the crab meat, and you're at, it's, um, it's 80 cents basically for the burgers, that's $4. You're talking about $14 for two and a half pounds of fish, which is artificial crab meat, and five burgers. I mean, heck yeah. Ooh, now that sounds good now. You're at um, 100, basically 180 grams of protein for 14 bucks. I mean, that's, that's, that's really inexpensive. I, I know it sounds expensive compared to the calculations I was doing the other day, but oh my, Darlene's bringing it out, I think. Ooh, let's get a, let's get a close up on that one here. Wow. If you want to decorate and get a little bit extra color, you can decorate that as well. I don't I, I might tell you, as That's far as taste goes, that, that definitely does not need. Mm -hmm. But you can do it with a little color look, because it's so boring. Okay, yeah. You're going to do a little color on it? Okay. Okay, so this right here is flavor, 10 out of 10. Visuals, I got you. So you're, I mean, see, one, once you put a, a bite in your mouth. Oh, okay. Look at it all color. Mm -hmm. That's very little color. But it's more, more color? Maybe a tad bit right over in there. So. I'm shaking out of uh, Almost blue. Okay, there you go. I, I think it's good. I think it's really, yeah. I think it's nice. There you oh, there you go. All right. All right, you ready to take a bite? I uh, know. No, I don't know. It's better than a little Oh, okay. I'll take this. Here you go. Hold on. Let me go ahead and bring this back. So people can watch you take your bite out of your second. Did you just cheat and take a bite? <laughs> <laughs> you need to you need to recognize. You gonna do one with Oh yeah. I wanna see your reaction first. Well here, I'll put I'll put it in your mouth, you put it in my mouth. Oh really? Okay. Like her wouldn't do with cake. But you wanna do you wanna see what I'm here, what's wrong? Yeah, because you're gonna give me a huge bite. Oh, I don't like that. My mouth's not gonna cook it. Right? Yeah. One. Wait, wait, wait. I do wanna, I do wanna just say that. Okay. I'm salivating because I know how good it is. That's crazy. Mmm. Aw. Where's my bite? Come on, mother. Okay, so there's a tiny, tiny bit called towards the bottom. You can just put it in long enough, but... You don't want it all hot. Oh, okay. Crab's already cooked. I mean, if you want it cook it... The cheese... If you want it hot, yeah, you cook it longer. Oh, yeah, take it in the bite. The cheese, absolutely. Hit it. The... Just see how it goes. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Y'all see he stole my fork. Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry. I've had it. I got Where? another one. No, I haven't either. Look at that. No. Just. Oh my goodness. Oh, sorry, Jalo. Yeah, you got Bigfoot. Hoo wee! Big mouth. Man. Big mouth. Man, does that look pretty? Mmm. 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 No, I didn't want it hot mm. enough to burn. Mmm, you don't. I mean, you stick it back in and have The flavor on. explodes in the front of your mouth. I mean, it just. just uh, so. Tell us what it's doing in your mouth, darling. Yeah. What's it tasting like? It tastes like salty. Yeah, huge I'm flavor in the front. Saying, you want me to wow. be a food critic? I'm well, gonna... yeah, pretty much. I mean, you know, you're making a dish, yeah. Wow. Mm -hmm. I kind of taste that little bite of that uh, cayenne. Man. Wow. You know, for some reason I'm tasting well, we do have salt in here. Okay. Yeah, wow. so um uh, in the old bay. Oh my word. Oh. Oh that's good. Oh. Mm, mm. oh my goodness. It's over. That sour cream, but then the sweetness. What sweetness? Mm, I don't know. We ain't put no sugar in there. No, I don't know. Oh, here I go again. <laughs> 
Oh my goodness. I have to get your mouth of soap. Oh. oh. The creaminess. The crab. The taste of the crab. The sour cream, the magical dance that it's having, the the cheeses. Mmm. And you know, just that little bit of salt that we put in there just makes it pop. Just incredible. I'm getting to taste the more I eat, the more I taste the pepper. Isn't that amazing? The the more the, the, the more bites you take, the better it gets. I don't know why. You have any idea why? Oh my word. Cayenne? Is it cayenne? Mm. Oh my gosh. I gotta get sour cream like pronto. More crab meat. Ooh, I wonder what other dish we can make with crab meat. I don't know. I feel like a pig, but it is what it is. God, I want you to see this. Look at that. Look at that cheese on there. Just, oh. Mm. You can see the. You put, you put paprika on top, right? Mm -hmm. Look at that paprika. Look at the creaminess going on there. Just insane. This. Look at that creaminess. Ooh, you can put that up to the camera. Oh, you want me to put it up there? It's gonna be creamy enough to hit my brain. You're talking about blissfulness. This right here, eating something like this, for me, has gotten rid of memory fog. And if Is this hurting me? Oh! Deep sleep, guys. Memory fog gone. Arthritis gone. Back pain gone. Neck pain gone. Uh, this is not something you would sell. This sells itself. Eating something like this, you know. Of course, I'm just flowing with thoughts here, guys. And, but when I, when I take a look at a dish like this, especially when I put it in my mouth, okay, that's the selling point on this dish. This remains the second day in a row a ten out of ten. Mm -hmm. There's absolutely now. Mm -hmm. I could take this and I could put it on the side of a steak. I know it's so filling, isn't it? Mm -hmm. This is <laughs> this is filling. Um, yeah, now it is filling. Um, it's so filling because it's so rich and it's so delicious. Well, probably a good thing to do with this one. One thing I would suggest is like make a big steak and put this on the side. But this is this is just a, a phenomenal dish to be able to to serve to guests or to serve to yourself for yourself. Something that will stay in the fridge for quite a few days. Oh my word. 144 days on the carnivore diet, guys. And on the 143rd day, Darling made heaven right here. Mm. Guys, thank you for turning me to need If you would, please hit the like button, subscribe. Love to have you back here. <clears throat> Darlene loves having you here, too. Y'all have a beautiful day. We will take back with you later in the day. Oh, I think we're gonna, we're gonna go find some barbecue place. Why? Because yeah, I. Because Wayne, I don't like to see my son or I'm going to walk without my son. Right. We're going to. I've fallen in love with the idea of trying every barbecue place in the South. <laughs> it possible? Is it possible? Probably not. No. But would it be fun to try a barbecue place every time that we're off and that I can? Oh, yeah. And it sounds like it's. Yeah. Just. Yeah. That sounds really, really cool. So we're going to do it. Because yesterday's barbecue place was a lot of fun. Going out to eat, is it fun? It is. It is fun. Well, you know, with it being um, Alex's birthday the next week, we might be able to go to find, he won't eat barbecue. He won't? He will. Oh. You know, he's ate things at barbecue place. Mm. Oh gosh. You start getting full on this, just wait a minute. It tastes so good. Yep, and I'm you want more. Y'all be good. Peace out. We'll check that out later.